this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to make uh, objects uh, appear to be going in, uh, through some clouds. So normally you'll be doing this with some balloons or airplanes or uh, anything that would be up in the sky that you want to make it seem like it's going through some of the clouds. So uh, let me just show you how that works right now. So we have uh, the picture of here of our sky with our with our clouds and we want to make a plane appear to be going through these clouds here so we want it to be uh, coming through here so that the back of the plane is actually visible then it disappears through the clouds and it kind of just goes out of the clouds here by poking uh, out of the clouds in this end here so uh, we have our the picture of our um, plane here and uh, the first step obviously is to select the plane from this um, image to remove the plane from it and put it into our clouds picture so the way we do this there are many ways to actually select uh, the plane uh, a very good way is magnetic lasso tool to select the plane you can also do the magic wand tool to select it or select the sky if that's easier for you and then inverse the selection so select everything else but the plane and then go to select and inverse if that's easier for you depending on the image and uh, for me, usually the quick selection tool, if you're using a latest version of Photoshop, you'll have the quick selection tool. It works the fastest for me, so that's what I'll use um, real quickly. Okay, once we have our selection made, all we need to do is, like I said, copy that. So we're just going to do a Control and C to copy that part of the plane over. And now we're going to go over to our uh, skies layer, and we're going to paste that, Control and V to paste that in. Now, um, it's on a separate layer, but obviously it's a bit too big. So you'll usually find yourself that you're resizing the plane, obviously, to fit within the dimensions here of the cloud, so to look realistic. So we're going to do a Control and T to uh, shortcut to resize the quick transform. I'm going to lock here um, this little chain here and change the percentage here to 50, just so I can get my handles here, because the plane was too big, and I couldn't actually adjust the size of the plane. So 50% uh, or 10%, whatever the case might be, um, is just a quick way to just get the handles here. Now holding down Shift, I can resize the plane, position to it where I want it to be, uh, making sure that it is, you know, realistic. And uh, that looks pretty good. I'm going to press OK, press Enter on that. And so we have our plane here that is ready to be simulated uh, in the fact that it's going through the clouds, right? So we want this stick hanging out and this part here also hanging out. So the step to do this is what would the essentially the, the, the logistics of this is that we need to add a layer mask of clouds in this so that we have the clouds going through, you know, the plane going through the clouds. The way we need to do this is uh, we unview the plane layer. We select the normal skies layer, the background layer. Now we're going to go into our channels palette. If you don't have that open, it's under window and channels. And now we're going to select the channel that has the most contrast between the sky and the clouds. Usually it'll be the red one. If you look, the red one has the most contrast. So we need to copy that so that we can paste it onto our layer mask. So. The way we do this is Control and A to copy, to select all, Control and C to copy. Now we're going to go into our, uh, just click on the RGB here to go back uh, to normal, uh, to our regular channels. Now we're going to go back into our layers, view the plane layer, select it, and we're going to add a layer mask. Right. Now, the idea is to paste that, uh, the clouds that we uh, just copied, paste that into the layer mask. But if you paste that, you see what happens is instead of pasting it into the layer mask, it pastes it into a new layer. So the way around this is it's a little bit of a trick. What we need to do is uh, enter different view mode in the layer mask. So we need to uh, alt and click on the layer mask, which will expose the layer mask, right? It'll just show the whole layer mask and not the image, just the layer mask by itself. Obviously, everything's turned to white because our layer mask is white. So within this view, Pasting actually works in the way that we want it to do, so we're going to do Control and V, and we have that pasted in there, right? So now we need to get out of that view mode, right? So we're just going to Alt and click again, and there we are. Now we are going, I'm just going to deselect here, and we're going to inverse that selection. And now you can see that we have the plane coming in and out of the clouds. Now I'm just going to untick this, to tick this here, this uh, unlink the two layers so that I can move the plane around and uh, without the, the mask actually moving around. And I'm doing this to just to show you one point is that it's not exactly doing a proper job right now of, uh, of showing through the, um, 
the plane and, and the clouds because what we need to do is just add a little bit more contrast between things. So we're going to go into uh, the layer mask here. We're going to go into image adjustment and levels. And we're just going to add a little bit more contrast here. So the way we do this is just move a little bit of the slider on both sides here. And uh, what that does when we click OK is it makes a little bit more contrasty so that we have more of a, mark, a remarked difference between uh, being in the clouds and being outside of the clouds, right? If you need to do this over again, just make sure you're in the actual layer mask and then adjustments levels and then you can uh, make that adjustment. And let me just show you here case in point. Um, let me just make an extreme case here. And you can see the before and the after. So it makes it a lot less sensitive to the clouds per se. So uh, it just depends on the effect that you want to, to achieve, right? So uh, we'll just add that again here. So we have a, a pretty good effect here of the plane outside of the clouds and the plane within the clouds, right? Okay. So now, like I said, we're just going to place that here. And uh, of course, you want to make some modifications slightly. For example, I wanted this to be coming out of the clouds in this here as well. It's kind of obscured at the moment. So what we need to do is go into our layer mask. And now painting with um, black with an opacity of 20%. So we want a low opacity. We want to actually want to use white. Sorry about that. We want to use white. Uh, black would uh, make it be more obscured, right? So with white, we want to be revealing more of the plane. And if you make a mistake, just use black here to uh, obscure it. And essentially, you're just going to be playing around, revealing more of the plane as it comes out of the clouds and uh, leaving it obscured uh, when it's not. Now, you can lower the opacity further. Not that low. Okay, further. And uh, then you start seeing that the plane starts coming through the clouds a little bit more if you want to. It depends how far into the clouds it is, right? So we're just going to uh, make some modifications here. Make that part of the engine show up a little bit more. And uh, there you are. So uh, let me just show you the before and after here. So I'm just going to throw this away temporarily here. So that is the before. And that is the after. So we have the plane actually going through the clouds, and it's a pretty cool effect. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website, and we'll create even more videos that interest you.